Today we're going to talk about one of the easiest ways to install a new operating system onto your Raspberry Pi. And this is going to be through using a piece of software called Noobs. And this stands for New Out of the Box Software. The first step to installing Noobs and getting your new operating system installed for your Raspberry Pi is that you need one of these. And this is a micro SD card. All you have to do is take this micro SD card, plug it into an adapter, and then connect it up to your computer. The next step is to format this card. And to format this card today, I'm going to be using a Mac laptop. So I'll go ahead and open this up. And we will start by opening up Disk Utility. And Disk Utility is a piece of software on a Mac that you use to format cards and hard drives. You can also do this on a PC. It's just slightly different. And on the left-hand side, you can see the SD card that I inserted. We'll go ahead and we'll select the format, which is going to be MS-DOS FAT. From there, I'm just going to name the card Pi for Raspberry Pi, and we'll go ahead and click on Erase. Once this is done, we're ready to go ahead to the next step, which is to download the Noob software and get it ready to install on this card. So we'll just open a new web browser. We can type uh, noobs into the search bar, and the first item that comes up for me is download noobs from Raspberry Pi. We will go ahead and click on that, and I'll download the zip version of this. So this will take a little bit to download. Now once this is downloaded, we'll open up the zip file, and what we'll get is a directory structure. And all we need to do with that directory structure is we just need to take all the files and drag them right onto the root directory of the SD card. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And now that that's done, we're pretty much done with this computer. I'm going to go put this away and we can take our new SD card and plug it into our Raspberry Pi, boot it up and see what happens. Now that we got our SD card all prepared with noobs installed, it's time to boot up the Raspberry Pi. So let's go over what we'll need to do this. First off is we need a Raspberry Pi board. So I have one right here. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. I have the card. I have a mini USB to full-size USB adapter. I'm going to use that so that I can go ahead and plug in this little dongle. And now this dongle will allow me to connect a keyboard and mouse, which I also have right here. I'll go ahead and plug that into the port marked USB on the Raspberry Pi. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the SD card. Now the SD card will protrude a little bit. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to take my HDMI. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And I'll need this so I can actually see what the Raspberry Pi is doing on my computer monitor over here. And the final step is to go ahead and plug in power. And this is just a USB power uh, cable, like one you would use for your cell phone. With that all connected, um, we can see the little light on the Pi has lit up, and that means it's going ahead and booting. So let's take a look and see what's happening on the computer screen. Now, the first time you boot up using Noobs, it's going to re initialize the card and it's going to change the partitioning and make a boot and recovery. So it really didn't make a difference what you named the card originally. So after that's done, it will boot into the Noob system and this version right now is Noob's version 3.3 and the build date is February 5th, 2020. The first thing we see is that there isn't very many options for installs. There's the full version of Raspbian operating system for the Raspberry Pi and there's also something called LibreELEC. Now, neither of these are what I want to use for my project. I want some more options. So how do we get more of those options? Well, we need to connect to Wi-Fi. So this is pretty simple, though. All we have to do is go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi Networks tab, pick one of my Wi-Fi networks, type in the password, 
and click OK. Now that we're connected, you can see that there's a whole bunch of options to choose for installing with noobs. So in this case, what I really want to do is I want to make a retro gaming system. So I'm going to run RetroPie, which will run on top of the Raspbian operating system. But I don't want the full Raspbian operating system because there's a lot of extra software in there that I really don't need. So what I want is I want this one. I want the Raspbian um, port of Debian with the Pi desktop. I like the desktop. It makes it easier to go configure things. And now the most powerful feature in Noobs is it allows you to install multiple operating systems to your Raspberry Pi. And to do this, all I'd have to do is go ahead and click a few more of these installers. Now when I click install, it's going to install all the operating systems and I'd have the option of switching between them and playing around with them a bit. But again, for my project, I don't want to do any of this. So I just want to install the regular Raspbian with the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click off these other options. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the install button. And now it's going to go ahead and install the operating system to my card. Thanks for watching this video. As you can see, using Noobs makes it very easy to install operating systems onto your Raspberry Pi. So if you like this video and want to see more from us, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below. And if you really, really, really like this video, make sure you click the like button as well. And finally, if you want to be notified every time we come out with new content, go ahead and click that notification bell below and we will let you know every time we have a new video uploaded. Until next time, happy pieing.